Christmas. I'm a day late, but I am here. I had a wonderful Christmas. I hope that all of you did too. I am headed to see my babies. I am so excited. It is December 26th. It is 4 o'clock p.m. I've had nothing today, nothing to eat yet. Um, it's so weird because the more I get into this intermittent fasting, the less hungry I am. I'm not necessarily losing weight because of it, but I just don't, I just don't eat that much. And that's okay because obviously I eat enough to sustain my weight and to be healthy. Um, but it makes life simpler, I can tell you that. So, I'm going to be eating at the airport. I am going to find a nice restaurant and I am going to enjoy some sort of fish because I'm craving either a poke bowl or salmon salad. Go figure. Because I haven't had either for days. Actually, I haven't had a poke bowl for a couple of weeks, maybe? Yeah, maybe a couple of weeks. So that sounds really good. So I'm just gonna enjoy a dinner by myself at the airport and be on time for my flight. No rush, no stress. And um, yeah, I can't wait to see my babies. I will be landing in Salt Lake City at 10.52 p.m. Super late flight. And then my son and his wife will be picking me up and we will have a two and a half hour drive to Idaho. <laughs> so it's going to be a very late night for me, but I'm super excited. Um, I will try to share as much as I can with you guys of my trip. It's only five days this time, so it's kind of short, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm just super thankful and super grateful to be able to go. This is kind of my Christmas gift, um, so I'm very thankful for that, and I'm not looking forward to the cold. You guys know that. It was 79 degrees here on Christmas Eve. It's not that warm right now. It's 67, but it's still pretty dang warm, so I'm going to freeze my bum off not looking forward to that part, but to see my kids and my grandkids, it is worth it. So I'll share as much as I can with you guys along the way. Right now I'm just going to focus on getting um, to the airport. Eddie is actually going to be dropping me off and, um, and getting <laughs> to the right gate and all that nonsense. So Eddie told me that LAX to drop off at departures is taking two hours two hours from the time you get into the air the airport terminal area <laughs> two hours so he's gonna drop me off at um, arrivals and then I'll just walk upstairs with my luggage and stuff not a big deal so I need the steps anyway because I have done nothing for days you know what I did for Christmas I sat in a movie theater for two full movies and thoroughly enjoyed it. I watched, um, what did I watch? I watched Vice. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I can't believe though that Christian Bale played, uh, Dick Cheney. He did not look like Christian Bale at all. That was, that kind of boggled my mind. And, and he narrated the story also, but his voice sounded like his voice, but he did not look like himself at all. Totally weird. So I watched Vice and then I watched Ben is Back and that was kind of just really traumatic. That one kind of hit home on a few levels. So yeah, it was good. It was good. It was Julia Roberts and I don't know who her son, who played her son, but it was a great way to spend Christmas day. It was very relaxing. I also slept in so, I don't even remember what time I got up. I think it was one o'clock. Today I slept in until like 11 o'clock, so I'm like up to here on sleep, which is cool because tonight I'm going to be just dead tired. So I need to get my butt in gear soon. Um, Angela from Angela My Life invited me to participate in a challenge that I'm excited but really nervous about. You guys know that I was going to do the holiday streak this year, and I think I did maybe three days, maybe four massive fail massive so Angela invited me to participate in a challenge that she is hosting for the entire year of 2019 and it is to walk or run two miles every day <laughs> this kind of scares me because I failed so big on the last challenge but I kind of need a like a serious kick in the pants so who wants to do this with me and Angela? 
it's not as if, okay, the goal is not, the goal is to do two miles every single day for 2019. But if you miss a day or two, it's okay. The goal is to actually do as many days as you can, two miles a day, walk or run for 2019. I need this so much and I would love to do another marathon next year, but the shape that I'm in right now, there is no way. So I need to do something with myself and just, ugh, I need to do something with this because <laughs> I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the non-movement and things are not very tight anymore. <laughs> so who wants to do it with me? Who wants to do two miles as many days as you can for 2019? And Angela, how are you tracking this? Are you getting like a big like year calendar and you're going to write down all the days that you do it or how are you doing that? Because I think, I think I need to put a calendar on my refrigerator and then write down all the days that I hit it. Anyway, that's my goal for trying to get myself back into, I go in massive running phases, if you haven't noticed, um, where I will run hardcore for a couple years and then I'm out for like a year and I don't even care. And I'm kind of in that not care phase right now. I don't want to be there. I want to run. I want to feel good. I want to run a marathon. So um, probably be like my... 17th or 18th marathon yeah something like that I need to do another one I got the itch but I gotta train and you know how I hate training for marathons I like I love the idea of doing a marathon and I hate the idea of training for it <laughs> it doesn't make sense I know it um I really wish I would have stopped for some coffee because it's still gonna be a while before I have dinner but at least I'll be occupied busy trying to get things done and taken care of so I won't be like starving starving anyway enough from me I'm going to, I have not posted a video in so long you guys probably think I'm out but I'm back in the game we're gonna make this channel grow for 2019 I want to see more subscribers and I also want to motivate you guys and be on board with you because like I've always said we are in this together. I am in it with you. You're in it with me. We got to keep each other on track, right? I'm watching you. <laughs> Watch me, please, because I need accountability. Um, so I'm going to try to post this video tonight at some point, maybe after I land while we're in the car on the ride to Idaho because I won't have a lot to do. I'm going to be bored. Oh, I downloaded... Um, this is a weird little car chat. I got nothing else to do for a while. Um, I downloaded, whoa, shoot, I forgot the names of the movies that I downloaded from Netflix to watch on the plane. I downloaded like four, and I'm gonna have time for one. Um, a Sea of Trees with Matthew McConaughey. I think that's what it's called. I think it's called A Sea of Trees. Um, Matthew McConaughey's fine. And uh, one called, I can't even remember. I don't even know why I'm trying to tell you if I can't remember, but they all sounded really amazing. Um, and then I also downloaded the Ellen DeGeneres special because I need a good laugh. I still need some good laughs. So if you guys want to cheer me up, tell me a joke down below or something because <laughs> I need a few good laughs. Although my sons cracked me up, so I'm going to go spend time with my sons and they just, they're hilarious. They make me laugh so much. So that's cool. That'll be good. I'm signing off for now. I'll check in with you when I get to the airport because I'm going to eat some fish. Mm, dying for fish. <laughs>